Blizzard is often known for their Samus, uh, and Maya had played Pyra and Mithra in their previous set. But and on top of that, Maya also is a Min Min main. Uh, so wow. the hero is definitely a big pick. I like how a lot of uh, Wi-Fi players who were getting, uh, you know, crash talks for maining characters that are called lame, like, you know, Min Min, Banjo, uh, were just like, yeah, Pyramithra, you know. <laughs> like, uh, as soon as those characters came out, they were like, yeah, you know, a DLC character that is kind of cool. Let's, let's rock with that. Um, but anyway, both these guys just trying to get into it. it definitely looks like Maya knows a thing or two about spacing and using heroes uh, attributes to their advantage. Then Min Min does neutral get up and says, spacing, you say? Let me cover half the stage. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me just do that with next to no commitment. And I can also move around and jump. <laughs> Uh, Min Min is something else, and absolutely yet another character to look out for. So, uh, just in general, the uh, the second fighter's pass has been just putting in killer after killer, at very recent from a metagame aspect, maybe not so much from a enjoyment aspect, but you <laughs> well, can't yeah, go, killer, can't killer go wrong. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong with either of those four with only two to go, but this will be set one versus set two and the hero of maya is looking mighty strong down smash was a bit of an uh, awkward choice you kind of expected uh, an s smash for its added strength maybe would have killed it, but he might be regretting it soon especially with that ram ram in area and... yeah, the megawatt is uh very strong um and it's such a such a crazy tool for this character because it's like, yeah, uh, I did a lot of damage with my non-committal attacks. Let me just smack you with a with a really big moving wrecking ball. And right now, Maya is having a really difficult time securing the stock. As I say that, we get a kaboom um, yeah, that is going to be evening it up. It's rough to use kaboom at mid uh, mid mana like that because it's it just costs so much. And granted, making up mana isn't especially the most difficult thing like you get a decent amount per uh, per hit but yeah, it's especially if you get oomph on the table as well you you never want to be uh -oh. below 10 percent uh below 10 mana but the snooze and yet another kaboom coming out as long as he stays above 20 he's feeling pretty good all right but focusing a lot more on these projectiles uh, especially the menu projectiles not really looking for uh, buffs too much and not using not using the Zapple line, or the Zap line at all. He's just, he's trying to keep Min Min out best he can with Frizz, Frizzle, and any of the, any of the other menu spells that he can pull up. Mm. Yeah. Watch out for that laser. Yeah, also watch out for the uh, Ram Ram. That's, that covers a lot of space. Oh, the Psycho is going to do it. Good stuff. I really want to call out, uh, call attention to Maya's shield pressure on Stage Hazard. Um, they've been kind of doing like a one and done type of thing, and uh, waiting for... Stage Hazard to buffer an option uh, out of shield and then, you know, getting a punish off of it. You know, we, we've seen it before, like uh, an F-Tilt 1 onto shield. And then Maya's uh, gonna, you know, say, oh, I, I want you to get off me. Let me use a, with an F-Tilt. And then they just jump over it. And Maya's doing a really good job of just picking and choosing their uh, attacks like that. But speaking of doing a good job, picking and choosing, uh, just throw it out sometimes and it'll take a stock. Stage Hazard uh, is doing a very good job trying to even this thing up. Zapple comes through. Yeah, he's he's really winning the spacing war, which is quite awkward against uh, quite awkward to just do in general against Min Min. But as long as Maya keeps keeps on the back foot, just playing their playing their game, acknowledging that Min Min's usually going to give you a time to at least read the menu once over before any uh, normal interaction. Yeah, backer comes through. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. He didn't go low enough, but it does not matter. The falling fair. That's <laughs> it's Maya's bread and butter at that point. Uh, for most of the set, they would rely on things just comboing into fair or setting up in the fair and running off of platforms. His will never not be good in a platform fighter. So run off fair. We'll take it. Yeah. Good, good stuff from Maya. Really, uh, especially. If you, as you mentioned, they are a Min Min player, so they, they know the ins and outs of how to get around uh, those long arms, and that nice 45 degree angle will certainly do it. Yeah. So, uh, I think the stage pick's gonna be very important. There's that bonk we saw a little bit earlier. 
Oh yeah, but what, what's the what's the shield pressure to take the stock? I think I think it was this one, yeah. Um, so they're gonna get up close to each other. Gonna try to cover space. Oh, never mind. That was it was the next stock. I'm I'm a fool in front of a lovely audience like you guys. Um, it's definitely not this one yet. I think Maya gets this one. Yeah, Maya. Yeah, it's like oh, it's like a fair, fair just classic. Yeah, maybe I was maybe I was just seeing something. Maybe I was just seeing an interaction. Oh, and there is the Samus pick. Uh, I see it down there right now from Stage Hazard. Uh, this matchup is interesting because bounce as a, a mechanic is really hard for Samus to deal with, and a lot of Samus' strengths kind of get invalidated by that one move. So Maya is gonna have to definitely fish for that if uh, they want to make this, you know, even. But here's the thing: Hero is incredibly vulnerable when pulling up a menu. Uh, and if Stage Hazard uh, can, you know, get a good charge and uh, have a punish ready, um, it could be very difficult for Maya to get anything going either. Ooh, oh, but if you drift into that F Smash, you're gonna have problems either way. Yeah, I really like how Maya's playing this hero. Like, they're not trying to be too, uh, too reliant on the menu. They pull it up when they can. But especially uh, in a comparison to the Min Min matchup as they played, uh, they're just like, hey, I'll I'll push forward. I'll see what I can do with just Zap and not have to worry about your enhanced movement just cover space. Yeah, that Frizz is nice. I do feel like this will be a lot more of a, of a Zare matchup for a stage hazard to go for. Absolutely. Uh, ooh, the roll read on the up tilt still confirming it to up air, but not quite killing. Yeah. Um. Oh, there's a crit. Sorry, bro. Good night. Thanks for coming. And now Stage Hazard what? is at a pretty bad deficit after what? that crit. What do you mean? He just got outplayed. Like, I, don't, get, I, don't no, see, I, I don't see what the problem is. No, there is no problem. He just got <laughs> smashed. It's, it's, it's not my fault. It's his fault. Oh, there's a back here. Good night. A minute 30, not even. And uh, Stage Hazard. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh. <laughs> Look at all the flags piling up in the corner because of the disconnect. Oh, yeah. He's dipped. That was the fastest read, Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> Game hadn't even left. <laughs> Goodbye. Forward air to grab the tether. Uh, and then a drop off platform, you know, reads the uh, drift in with the down B bomb. And uh, yeah, that's, that's going to do it. Stage hazard. Going to be dropping out of winner's bracket. My Lazarus. Oh. There it is, the graffiti art. It is coming through. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Dang, dude. Oh, sorry, you, you jumped into an F smash. I was about to comment on how Stage